Double World Rally Champion Marcus Gronholm ended 2006 with a steely determination to put an end to Sebastian Loeb's reign of dominance. And if 2007 goes to plan, notch up his third driver's title in the process. His rally CV is impressive by any driver's standards and has been well documented over the years. But what about the man himself? In an exclusive interview, Rally Magazine found out what exactly makes him tick. And predictably enough, Marcus is as down to earth as they come. I just like to be at home quite a lot, to do no normal things in, in a normal life, everything with a family. I like all kind of sport, to, to do the sport and to watch and, 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 and follow and everything. That's, that's part of my hobby. Marcus's introduction to motorsport came through his father, two-time Finnish rally champion Ulf. Brought up with the smell of petrol and oil, he soon graduated to motocross in 1983, until a knee injury prematurely put an end to his aspirations in 1986. And I find that motocross is very interesting. I, I drove motocross five years and, uh, before rally. I haven't touched a motocross bike since then because I, I had an accident with my... So I, I destroyed both my knees, so since then I haven't done that. But motorsport runs deep in the Gronholm family veins, and 1987 saw Marcus compete in his debut rally. 1995 brought a new co-driver to Marcus's arsenal in the shape of brother-in-law Timo Rautiainen, a partnership that has so far worked well. I don't think about the family, in fact. It, it has just been like we start to, to work, work together and... and uh, but now we are so much together, so it means that during the free time we, we don't see each other really at all. So that's, that's a little bit strange, but that's how it is, because we are sitting so much in the car together. As expected, the demanding nature of rallying dominates Marcus's life, but how does the Finn relax when he's not sitting behind the wheel of a WRC car? It's everyday creature comforts that put a smile on Marcus's face. I would say I have no problem with drinking, so... <laughs> Just a beer or two after the sauna, it's fantastic. Bond films are good, but, but um, I look a little bit everything. And what about his favourite food? I always answer the same pizza, it's very nice. <laughs> Thankfully for the rally community, Marcus's knee injury didn't dissuade him from living life in the fast lane. But what would a life without rally hold for Marcus Gronholm? I am sure I would have done some sports. That, that's, Sure, but I, I live on the farm. I was farmer before I really stopped for rally. So I should have been maybe farmer and doing something, some sport for sure. I want to compete. Along with another shot at the championship in 2007, rumours are also rife around the service park that this could be Gronholm's last year in the sport. I think it will be strange when I when I stop to not go anymore to the rallies for sure. But but sometimes. Uh, I'm quite tired with all, all the testing, uh, going here and there, and uh, travelling, that's, that's, the, that's, that's the worst thing. Still, the rallies are fantastic and, and so, but I don't know if I will do full-time farming, but something for sure, and, and uh, I have some ideas, but I don't, I don't tell you yet. 